Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing an update video on the battery capacity of my 2012 Nissan LEAF. So I'm at about 47,000 miles. I've um, been driving the car quite a bit in the last three months, about 2,000 miles a month. And I've been tracking my, my battery capacity and it's been rock solid at 73%. And um, but haven't been driving it quite as much the last couple weeks. Um, I'm still at 10 bars, as you can see. And um, kind of interesting. Um, it's been 73%, and I just scanned it. So I'm fully charged. I'm at 91.8. This is as max as it will go. But as you can see right here, this will focus. Maybe not. But that's 70% state of health. So I dropped from 73 to 70 in 1,000 miles and I've been tracking the car for quite some time here and I've got, got a little chart here I've, I've been just kind of summarizing it so since about 35,000 miles up to 47 it's been at 73 consistent well up, up to 46 actually from from 35 to 46 um, that was in May from about August of 2016 to May uh, 23rd of um, 2017 from 35,000 to 46,000 it was 73 percent consistent and that's mixed driving um, you know I always try to keep it between 10 and 90 I never try to go below 10 percent to preserve the battery and uh, so yeah now we're at this um, at this level here at 70% so I mean I don't know it's it's kind of creepy I mean just the fact that the car has this you know these these dumb bars that mean nothing it's like it's still at 10 10 bars of 12 now if it's 75% battery capacity it should be showing 9 bars because 9 of 12 is 75% so if it was at 73 it's why is it still showing 10 bars and now it's down to 70%. Now I don't know if it's Leaf Spy. Maybe it's Leaf Spy. Maybe it's the software I'm using on this thing. I don't know. Um, I just, I'm just rather shocked. Because to go, f to be that consistent for that period of time. And then just have it all kind of just dump down to 3% out of nowhere. Now I, like I said, I haven't been driving the car as much. Um, I was driving at 2,000 miles every, for about 3 months in a row about 6,000 miles and then I was just getting so frustrated with the the charging network I mean having to wait and having arriving at a fast charge and having it being broken and having to wait like three hours on the level two charge and it was, it was just driving me crazy I couldn't I couldn't handle it anymore so I stopped I mean although the car drives great it's a good good highway car it's just with no infrastructure with you know that's it's not you just can't go anywhere I mean if there's only one charger available and it's broken you're you're screwed so it's just it's got too too frustrating so i stopped doing it and i have a model s too so it's kind of like a, there was really no reason to to uh, waste time driving this car i mean i i still love driving this car around town it's perfect for that but but uh i've been driving the model s i mean i've been doing some serious road trips and it's been it's, it's, it's like a night and day difference i mean you got a pretty much about a 300 mile range and I pretty much confirmed that it's like it's it's real easy to go 250 250 miles and keep it between 10 and 90 percent I mean it's it's like I could drive that car for the next three or four hundred thousand miles probably on the original battery probably have no problem at all but anyway with this car that's not today's subject today is this this Nissan Leaf subject here so yeah it's um I don't know I mean it's like my I've got about two more months of my battery warranty so um I believe if I'm at 70% I mean it's just I'm, I'm just shocked that it's at 70% that's the thing I can't understand is I don't know how it how it went down I mean I I've been tracking it out of curiosity for some some time now and it's like you know I I'm pretty meticulous about keeping on top of it and I I've done nothing I've done nothing out of the ordinary keeping it between 10 and 90% and just uh even with all the fast charges, even even with these bars going up to like uh, 10, man, 11 is actually in the red. I've never, it's never gone into the red. It's gone up to 10. 
a few couple times, but even after that, I mean, that was several months ago, and it cools right back down, and I've, I'd scanned the car immediately afterwards, and there's no problem. It's still 73% before, 73% after, and now that I've been driving it less often, now it dumps down to uh, 70%. I mean, it didn't go down to 72, didn't go down to 71, it just, all of a sudden, bam, 3% gone. Like, and it's not, not doing anything out of the ordinary. So, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, I'm kind of curious if there's any other, other Nissan Leaf owners out there who, who, who's using Leaf Spy to track your, your battery capacity. It'd be very, I'd be very curious um, to hear anyone else's comments on, um, you know, what the, how do you feel about this? Because it's, it's pretty bizarre to me. I mean, if, if anyone else has experienced this kind of reaction, because it's really odd. I mean, it's really odd to dump, you know, 3% in 1,000 miles. That's, especially when there was nothing weird happening. I didn't, like, I could understand if I, if I drove it down to 2% or something and, and left the car parked for two weeks or three weeks, that would be really bad for the battery. But I've never done anything like that. I mean, I keep it close to 50%, ideally. Um... Yeah, it's like, I mean, I keep it between 10 and 90, usually from at the extreme. But I try to keep it when it's, in, when it's in storage, I try to keep it in the middle. Keep it somewhere in the middle here, you know, where it's 50% or something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's pretty crazy. But um, anyway, that's my update for now. I guess we'll see what happens. I mean, like I say, I got about two more months on my battery warranty, so... And it's only, summer's only just begun here in the Pacific Northwest, so it's like early July, so I don't know if the heat has anything to do with it, but I mean, it, it hasn't seemed to, I mean, it's, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's already doing whatever it's doing for whatever reason, it's just, it's just really troubling to me, because like, it's not showing any difference on the bar down here, it's still showing 10 bars, and it's like, it's ridiculous, how can you be at 70% and show 10 bars, it's absurd, but um, anyway, Thanks for watching. Many more to come on this whole uh, issue.